Publikum tar av når sjåførene lager litt spetakkel før start, og det lyser grønt. you dirt heads i'm james pumphrey as always joined by my co-host nolan sykes What's and today up? we are talking motorsport but we are laser focused on a dude named bruno durant you ever heard of him at the main event you know what it is it is the dirt podcast by donut media nolan tell me one thing yes sir. are you hyped you know it dude how can you not be let's just recap okay james once upon a time our dude aj was going about his business winning all them races like he does and generally being a full superstar 24 7. Ooh, i'm getting chills nolan tell me more then after basically completing quote the dirt moto series bruno duran he comes along and he raises a skill level to heights we've never seen before in this series dude i've been watching for a long time never seen anyone like this this, okay, Bruno's racking up win after win after win until there was no option but to take on our boy AJ himself. I'm getting PTSD right now, Nolan. Um, we all know how that turned out. Yeah, AJ, he comes away with his only main event loss of his career. Long story short, he retires a couple of days later on this very show, may I add. But fortunately, and we knew this, that's not the end of the story. That is not the end of the story. In the background, in secret. He'd been working on a little project, a little covert operation, a little smelly skunk works, if yeah, you will. Just in the shadows, like some sort of smart goblin or ghoul coming up with some sort of concoction to release on the world. Yeah, that's right. He was training somebody, someone who had those gut instincts, that raw driving talent to be a Durand destroyer. Someone that we have previously on this show referred to as Rookie? Yeah, I apologize for that, but they proved their worth, okay? And we've created a monster event that not even Bruno Durand can run away from. An event that will go down in history as really, really super massive. You are almost poetic with your word choices. Thank you. 
hand reared by AJ and ready to take on that undefeated accolade off Bruno and level the competition. That is a tale as old as time, one for the history books. And if you ask me, this one is going to go down to the wire. <sighs> well, Bruno doesn't think so, man. He said at the press event, I quote, <clears throat> The chances of me losing are the same as James Pumphrey winning the same race. <laughs> you sound exactly you like him, that evil laugh. He does that. That's that evil laugh that he does. But I just want to point out, like, Bruno, bro, what did I ever do to you? I mean, you instigate every rivalry he's ever had, so okay. that, that, that might have something to do with it. That's a fair point, but every sport needs someone to keep it going. Uh, regardless, Bruno, unless I get a formal apology in public, you are no longer welcome on this show. <laughs> I don't know if you uh, have the uh, <laughs> qualifications to do that. You're right. I have zero decision-making abilities here. I am just saying that to stir the pot because that's what I do. stirring that pot.